In this video, we're going to create four panels and we're going to organize them in our application here using card layout. So we're continuing to build this reaction times program that we took a look at in the first video. So up here in main frame, let's create a private J reaction panel. And I'm going to call this greet panel. So we're going to have four panels here. And this is going to be the first of the four. Let's cut that and paste it there. And I'll get rid of this add now for the moment. And actually I'll get rid of this set layout as well because we're going to change that. So this is going to be the first panel that you see when you open the application. And I'll set the title to something like reaction timer since that's the name of the application and we'll say click or press space bar to begin and then I want four more of these so I'm going to duplicate that well I want three more of them I want four in total I'm going to duplicate that three times and then we're going to have here wait panel so this is going to say to you wait until the color changes so don't do anything be prepared to react basically and then we'll have click panel this is going to say to you click as, as quickly as you can so wait panel is going to change randomly to click panel and the idea is you've got to click it as quickly as you can and finally we'll have a result panel that tells you your results now let's just expand this a bit maybe so the titles I'm going to have reaction timer for the first one and then for the second one let's just say wait dot 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 for the third one let's say click or press space bar now exclamation mark for the fourth one I'm going to say well that's going to tell you how long you took to react let's say reaction time colon and uh, I'll put zero milliseconds in but we're going to that's just a placeholder. We're going to change that uh, during the actual running of the application. Here, let's say for wait here, let's put some instructions on. So we're going to say something like click or press the space bar when the color changes. And then, so this third panel says click or press space bar now. And let's put for the subtitle be as fast as possible and for this fourth panel that shows you your reaction time let's say click or press spacebar to continue and that's going to take you back to the first screen so these are four different screens that you're going to see now what I want to do is uh, arrange these in a sort of stack as if they were a stack of cards one on top of the other uh, in such a way that I can show whichever I want whenever I want to show them so to do that, I'm going to create here a card layout. So let's say private card layout. And I said in a previous video that I mostly use, I think I said that I mostly use border layout and grid bag layout. But card layout is, is a layout, it's kind of a, I think of it as a specialized layout that I use very occasionally. Occasionally it's really useful and most of the time you don't need it. But here it is going to be very useful. Let's call this just CL and set that equal to new card layout like this. So if we add the import for that and then down here in the constructor of mainframe, I can say set layout CL. So now instead of border layout or grid bag layout, I'm using card layout as the layout for the mainframe. Then I can add the different panels. So now what I need are strings that name each panel. And I'm actually going to go here to the package and go to new, let's say new enum. And I'm going to create something called state. And I'm going to have four different states. So the first one, let's call it greet. And the second one, call it wait. And then we'll have one called click, where you have to click as fast as possible. And then we'll have one called results or summary. Maybe just results. Okay, so now back in mainframe. Uh, so those different constants here in, in the state enum, they correspond to the different panels here. Now we can make use of those. 
So I'm going to say add here. Once we set the layout, we can say add greet panel. And we need a string to name this. And I'm going to get the string by saying state.greet dot to string to get a string version of that um, in, in num constant there. And let's duplicate this three times. And we want one for weight panel. We want to add that. And we also want to add click panel. And we want to add result panel. And you can imagine what I'm going to do now. So here we want weight and then we want click and then we want result or results I think I called it. Okay so now we should be able to show those uh, whenever we want one of them. So let's just try this. Uh, so to show any one of these I just call card layout dot show method and I have to specify the parent container which is our main frame here and then I have to put in the name of the one I want to show. So for example, state.greet.toString. Let's see if we can show that. So I'm going to run this and see what happens. So if we run it, okay, I get an error here. What do I do? Wrong parent for card layout. I think what I need to do here is say this dot get content content pane because I'm not actually um, adding them directly to the main frame as such. They're actually being added to the content pane of the main frame. I always get this confused. Now let's try running it. Okay, yeah. So that's what I wanted to see. Uh, so when you add things to a main frame, it's got this content pane that actually shows you the content of it. And that's really what we're adding to when we use the add method in a J frame. So if I want to see a different one, then I would use a different constant here. So let's use state.weight.toString. Now we should see the weight panel, and we do. We're going to have to work on these a little bit, though. And same for the click. And we should also be able to see, yeah, we should also be able to see the result panel here. And it looks good. There's, there's one last thing that I want to tweak here, I think, because if we look at this weight panel, let's take a look. So you see the text um, is not wrapping and it's kind of going off the edge here. I could just make the whole thing wider. But another thing I could do is I could make this HTML. So uh, don't worry if you're not familiar with HTML, but HTML is how we specify the layout of uh, web pages and it's pretty simple to use it. So the problem is only uh, that this text is too long. We'd like to be able to have a line break in it. So that's this text here. Let's just close that. So all we have to do to be able to use a line break is first surround this by HTML tags because we can actually make this a piece of HTML. That's an opening HTML tag. And I want a closing one as well that looks like this. And then once we've put the opening and closing tags in, we can use other tags in the text to specify what should happen. So here, in terms of the layout or color or whatever, here I want to put um, just BR, a BR tag like that. BR is a line break tag. So that should split the text up a little bit. So I think that looks pretty good. And uh, we're going to leave it there for this video. And in the next video, we're going to add a controller that's going to react to mouse clicks. And just a reminder that if you go to caverprogramming.com, I've got a bunch of courses there. And if you take a look at all the courses available, one of them is this Java Swing programming course from beginner to expert that teaches you swing from scratch and gets really advanced. So do check that out. You can watch the first videos in that absolutely for free, even without enrolling on the course. You've just got to click them like this.